So, as you can probably tell by the title, I would expect you to kind of tell by the title, uh, today's video is um, different. <laughs> it's not just another happy, upbeat makeup video or playlist video or whatever other kind of videos I do. I've been gone for two and a half weeks, three weeks, I don't know how long. Uh, the last video that I uploaded would have been the kissing prank on Tate. Also before I continue, I do quickly want to say thank you to all of you. Um, your support has been unreal. I am not here to cry. Your support has been unreal. Um, I'm not, when I say that, it sounds almost like I'm starting a goodbye, and I'm not. Um, I'm not going anywhere permanently. I'm just going through some things, some life things, some mental health things. And as much as I'm used to putting on a brave face, I don't want to be fake on YouTube. That's not what I'm here to do. That's not what I'm about. And I'm not about to sit here and tell you that I'm okay. I'm not about to like sit here and like film a normal video and act like nothing happened and act like I wasn't gone for almost three weeks because that would be very fake. And I'm not. I'm not that YouTuber. I'm not about to do that. It annoys me when other YouTubers do that, so I'm not about to be that YouTuber. I understand when YouTubers take a break for content block. They don't know what to film. They don't know where they want to go with their channel. This isn't that. I have a million and one YouTube video ideas written down in a notebook somewhere over there. That's not the problem. I don't know if I want to talk about the problem though. If you've seen my Instagram lately, you would have seen, oh my god, no, I can't even say it, oh my god, okay. You would have seen uh, two posts dedicated to a specific person who is no longer with us. So, if you're not putting two and two together, yes, someone in my life passed away. And it hasn't been the easiest thing to overcome. And it's not something that I wanna just put up a front and act like I'm okay. Because I feel like that's very disrespectful to not address what's going on I'm not going to go into a lot about it because it's not my place to all I want to say oh my gosh all I want to say and make clear about that situation is that your actions affect others we all dream of envision this perfect world And we all wish to have this perfect life that we think we see in others. And when we don't receive that, it's almost like we think that the reasoning for that is because there's something wrong with us. There must be something wrong with us. Because we don't have this perfect life that everyone seems to have. But so much of it is fake. So much of it is not real. It's not what you should dream to have I don't know how much of this I'm keeping in here because I think I'm just rambling in a nutshell life's tough okay I'm not gonna lie to you I'm not gonna <sighs> portray my life to be the way that some people like to portray theirs but just know that everyone's going through something everyone's dealing with their own battles and their own inner demons everyone is going through something you could see a picture of someone and think they are the most perfect person in the world. 
it's just simply not true and I don't know why we end up thinking that of others it doesn't make us any less though it does not make us any less we're all imperfect we all have impurities and flaws and we're all battling something pain is pain there's a lot of different ways to deal with pain but I really want to stress right now that suicide is not one of those options it's simply just not is not a viable option because you're not getting rid of your pain you're passing it on to others it's kind of like having a cold in winter it's infectious it spreads it doesn't just go to one person and that's it it's done for it goes to so many other people and that's the same way it works when you have someone who takes their life their pain is infectious pain in general is infectious with that sort of thing it doesn't get passed on to one person and then, that, and then it's done for your pain's gone I'll pass it on to the next it doesn't work that way you're passing it on to so many other people who loved you and who miss you it's just not a viable option and it's not the way to go now whilst I forgive you and I do I forgive you it doesn't make it hurt any less doesn't weaken the pain. I understood where a lot of it came from. So I do forgive you because I understand what was happening. But there are so many other alternatives. So many other alternatives. And that just wasn't it. That wasn't the one. That didn't do anyone any good. Not even you not done you any good because you had such a long life to live. You had so much potential and worth. You had so many dreams to follow and people to meet and places to go, lives to change. I know you changed mine. But everything happens for a reason, unfortunately. And I know that you were setting me up for something I don't know what and I don't know if I want to find out but I'm going to eventually and this sort of pain that I and many others are feeling right now it's all setting us up for something because everything happens for a reason we have to learn how to deal with this pain now because something else is gonna happen and I hate to say that but I know in my heart how the universe works. Because it's happened to me so many other times. I know when my, my pop, or Da, we used to call him Da. Oh, fuck. I know when he passed away. That that was one of the most traumatic times in my life. Because when I was little, I can remember him as this like not big as in like a bad way but big like he was like muscly and a little bit of a chub but <laughs> I love you dog but he was just like a big a big teddy bear you know and I loved spending time with him and I really looked up to him and one one day I'll make a story time of a very specific situation that I remember about him that forever scarred me but I always kept in my heart and one day I'll make a video about that he had pancreatic cancer and to watch him go from this you know a broad guy to a literal Gellington
from the cancer was really tough and hard to understand as a kid but seeing it I very <laughs> and this is gonna sound weird I very quickly realized well, made assumptions in my own head or it made sense to me that we talk about zombies as this mythical scary creature but watching the R go through what he went through I very quickly realized that a zombie is not mythical the zombies are very real and I don't mean this in a cliche weird child way I mean they're real to watch a human being go from this big broad guy to a literal zombie the way we draw them and picture them with the really hollow hollowed out cheeks and a grey face really bad bags can barely move and make a lot of moaning sounds trying to talk and you can't really talk really skinny I mean some people draw zombies and their heaps big but that's not what I'm talking about watching someone go through cancer is literally like seeing a zombie come to life it's insane and I'll never forget visiting him in the hospital for the very last time and not recognizing my own box and being scared of him and I hated it I hated that because as someone that I loved and adored and looked up to as a kid I didn't recognize who he was anymore and I was scared of him because he was scary looking but it's not his fault that's obviously not how he planned it but the point of this ramble is to say that that was really hard to go through as a kid but I think the same way now as I did as a kid and I believe that it happened for a reason that it was setting me up for something and that would be my nan because next was my nan I'm not gonna keep going into details of who's passed away in my life that's not what I'm here to do I'm just trying to make a point that I know that this happened to set me up for something. I know that this had to happen to set me up for something more. I'm not looking forward to it. I forgive you. I just wish you knew how many people loved you and how many people this would affect. I wish you knew that there were so many other options. So many people were there for you. Almost our whole year came together for you, and that was unreal to see. It was really eye-opening. It made me realise that there would have been so many people there that I don't even realise care for me. And it made me realise that a lot of people there, if I needed someone to talk to, and I didn't feel like talking to the same people that I usually talk to because I didn't want to keep being a burden because that's sometimes how life can make you feel that there would be so many other people that would be there for me I just wouldn't realise it and that's pretty insane to realise because you don't feel that way I came on here to let you guys know that I'm not okay at the moment. I will be again. Because if you ever stay tuned at the very end of my videos to watch my outros, I stand by what I say. And everything will be okay. But right now, I'm not. And that in itself is okay. And I'm learning that. Because things will get better. Time will heal. I don't necessarily know when, but time will heal. It always does but I've been gone for a while and I wasn't willing to just upload another video like normal because like I said it'd be pretty fake of me to do that so I'm here for a quick explanation 
I don't have answers. I can't give you a timeline of how long it'll take me to be okay again or how long it'll take me to upload another video. It could be a week. It could be this coming Sunday. You know? It could be two months. I don't know. But see, the thing with me is some days I'm fine. And I'm like, okay, let's get back on our feet. Let's do this. And maybe I'll upload a video on that day. And then the next day, I'll be back at square one. And I'll wonder what happened. But that's just kind of how it works. I've got depression. And that's just how my brain works. So I can't guarantee that I'll be as consistent as I once was. Because one day I might upload a video and think, okay, we're good, we're back on track, let's keep uploading videos every week. And then the next week could be torture and I won't want to upload a video because I don't want to be fake with my audience. So I can't guarantee anything. There's a lot of what's, ifs, buts, whatever's. It's all up in the air, nothing's certain. But I think it's important that you know that I'm going through something and that I am human and I want to upload for you guys I do because I see you and I see your comments and I see your support and thank you for the amount of growth that's happened while I've been gone I've already gained like 200 subscribers while I've been gone and I've been gone like two and a half weeks so that was pretty unreal to see. So thank you for 800, because I know that's about where I'm at now. Something like that. This is uh, being filmed on the same day that you're seeing this. It'll be uploaded later tonight when I finish editing it. If I can get my shit together. Um, also, there's like a few quick little random things that I want to put in. Um, because a lot of my videos have been pre-filmed, like a lot of them. And a lot of them that will be uploaded after this would still be pre-filmed. I don't want to just trash them. I do like the videos. So, um, yeah, a lot of the time I can't give you, like, current life updates. Because it's like, well, that was filmed two months ago. And I'm uploading it now. It doesn't make sense anymore. I still upload them and I put little writing things explaining why it seems a bit off with timing. It's because it is. Um, but I want to, <laughs> this is random and all, but I wanted to say this in a few videos, but I always forget. But while I'm here, just so you know, YouTube doesn't work the same way as, say, Instagram. When you write a comment on someone's Instagram photo, you can delete it and that's that. They won't know about it. If you're quick enough, they won't know that you wrote a comment. Um, because it won't, when you go into your notifications tab on Instagram, it won't come up anymore because it's been deleted by the user. So all traces of that comment is pretty much gone. Yeah, YouTube doesn't work that way. So if you post a comment on any of my YouTube videos and then delete it, that notification will never disappear. I can see exactly what you said when you said it, on what video you said it on, that notification never disappears. You can delete your comment all you want, but I can still see it in the notification tab. It's always there, forever. Unless I choose to delete that notification, but I don't. I keep all my notifications, I don't care. I've seen so many people write so many lovely comments and then delete them, and I don't get it. I don't know why you'd want to delete a comment where you're just being supportive and nice. Sometimes I think back to when I was like a lot younger and when I used to write nice comments on other people's things and I would delete it if I think that they ignored it because I'd get embarrassed and I'd be like, oh, they don't care about me at all and I'd delete the comment because I'd be embarrassed that I wrote anything in the first place. And I know some people are still like that and some people still do that. So if that's your reasoning, I reply to almost every single one of my comments sometimes when they're a bit odd and make me feel a bit uncomfortable or if they're snarky I don't always reply 
but just know I see every single comment and generally if you scroll down on a lot of my videos almost every single one of them will have the heart from me and a reply not all of them again some of them are a bit weird and I'm always like I don't know how to respond to that so I won't but 99% of my comments I reply to and I like or heart I generally do both. I generally like them and then heart them. So you'll see like one like and then like one heart um, on a lot of the comments um, if other people haven't liked them. But sometimes I forget to like it. I just heart it. Um, letting you know that I see every single comment that's ever been posted. There's a lot of weird ones that have been deleted and I can understand why you deleted it. But it's also like, why'd you write it in the first place if all you were going to do was delete it? I see all of you, I see all of your support, all of your suggestions, I get all of your DMs, don't be afraid to DM me on Instagram, because I see them, and it means a lot when you come and talk to me, it's really cute, it's really sweet, and I see all of you that scroll right down on my Instagram and you stalk me for a while and you like a few of my old photos, I see all you too. You're all cute, and I love you all. Nothing goes unnoticed. Um, and I'm here for you all, just the same way that I'm not okay right now, and there's a few people that have got my back at the moment. I'm here for all of you guys as well. If you need help, I'm here. That's why my DMs are open like that. I just wanted to, real time, in the present, remind you, I see everything. <laughs> Very much so, everything. And I see the um, consistent supporters and I couldn't describe to you how grateful I am for you and I wanted to do a thing on my channel. Um, some videos, like I said, are pre-recorded so some videos won't have this but when I'm filming like real time, like from now on, I'm going to put a little segment in each video to just kind of... Um, thank a specific supporter for commenting something nice or whatever it may be for whatever the reason that I deem necessary at the time there'll be a person thanked at the end of each video and I don't my phone is what I film with so I don't have anything on me right now to know who to thank but uh, Consistent people make an impression and it's very easy to remember the people that are consistent So without anything, I already know to thank Sandra Compton She is someone that comments on so many of my videos all the time always such lovely messages all the time and um, Yeah, so here is a message from Sandra and Sandra just know that I love you and I see you and thank you for all of your support all the time. You mean the world to me. But, um, I mean... As you can see, Sandra is very consistent. <laughs> so... Thank you, Sandra. That's kind of just what I wanted to say in this video is that thank you for all of your support lately it's been unreal to see the numbers grow so much while i haven't even been there and i check them every couple of days and i'll be like whoa okay it's it's a shock no it means the world to me i'm sorry that this video wasn't a good one um it's just i'm not okay and i will be one day and i am going to get better but right now that's not now and that is okay I'll be alright because everything's gonna be okay in the end and if it's not okay it's not the end and I know that I stay true to those words I believe in that so yeah I don't again everything's up in the air I don't know when I'll be returning I might upload every now and then just not so consistently and then once my head's cleared, I'll try and make it more consistent. Obviously, that's what I want. 
Um, I don't want to be inconsistent, but yeah. Uh, depression can get to you and it can give you a lot of uh, just thoughts that you shouldn't really have, I know that. But it can really unmotivate you sometimes and I know I can feel really unmotivated a lot of the time. And that's not fun. But uh, that's the reality of it and that's what's happening. And I'm going to be real with you, I'm not about to sit here and be fake, it's not, it's not who I am, it's not who I want to be, it's not the message I'm about to portray. So, yeah, sorry that this has been so rambly, it's probably been way too long, I expected it to be like a five minute video, and as you can see by the timestamp, it is not that, I can already tell. Just know that I love you all, and I'm here for you all, and that suicide is not the option for you, or for anybody for that matter. And that you can come and talk to me anytime you need to. If there's a lot of people in your life that you feel as though you can't trust and you can't talk to or you're too, too scared to talk to them, talk to me. Okay? I'm not there with you in person. So there's no sort of intimidation or anxiety that could build up from that. That's what I find helpful with talking to people online as well. I know it's great to talk to people in person and I highly, highly recommend you do so. But sometimes you just want someone to talk to where you can't see their reaction because sometimes you don't want a reaction. You just want to vent. And I'm here for that, 100%. So my DMs on Instagram are always open. Even if you can find me on Facebook. <laughs> it's a bit stalkery. But if you find me on Facebook and find me on Messenger, you can send me a message a message and I'll message you back um, when I see it. Sometimes I don't see the request tab. But that's my bad, not yours. I am here for you. I love you. I love you. Like, I love you. I can't stress that enough. I love every single one of you. You're all amazing. Those are unreal. And things will get better. They're gonna get better. I'm gonna be okay. Just even talking to you guys now, have you noticed a difference from the start of this video to the end of the video? I am feeling better just from talking about it. That's what I mean. Just talking about it can just make a huge difference and it doesn't seem like it when someone says that you're like oh yeah whatever no as you can see it's clearly happening throughout this video i'm getting more comfortable to talk and more the way i used to be before this happened so yeah talk talk to me talk to whoever you want <laughs> i don't i don't mind who you talk to just talk it's good thank you for watching if you've stayed all the way through the end if you decide to write me a comment on this video and you've stayed all the way till the end just somewhere in the comment write the word I gotta think of something write the word butterfly or put the butterfly emoji and I'll know that you stayed all the way through till the end and um, I'll love you forever it'll be cool to see if anyone stays till the very end to write a butterfly or put the butterfly emoji. That'd be pretty cool. You don't have to. I understand if you don't. Because who would want to sit through this video? But I'm just saying, if someone does, let me know. That'd be cool. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I might give you further updates in later videos to see how I'm going. But again, a lot of them are going to be pre-recorded. I know I suck. <laughs> got into this phase like at the start of the year where I just like filmed and filmed and filmed and filmed because I just loved it and lately I just I haven't I haven't filmed a video in a few months because that's how many I've had pre-recorded and I wanted to tell myself that I'm not going to film any more videos until I've completely caught up so I can start being in real time with you guys because I hate being like I hate uploading all the way from the past and being all the way from the present and being like yeah, that doesn't make sense anymore. That's not the right timeline. I hate, I hate that. I hate it in editing. I just, I'm like, why do I do that to myself? But you know, this needed to be filmed because uh, it's important. <laughs> and I feel as though it would be disrespectful to not upload this because, I mean, you can put together why. This is the first video I've filmed in a, a long time. But it's going up today. Talia, it's going up today. Thank you for watching. 
Um, I love you. I'm not going to do my outro the same way I didn't do my intro. Because uh, it's not one of those happy upbeat videos. It's just, again, something I feel is a little bit disrespectful. So, goodbye for now. And I'll see you soon. Since I don't know when that's going to be.